In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut out a complex object in Photopea and apply it to a brand new background. OK, so let's get started. So as you can see here, we've got this lovely image of a cat against a blue background. And the reason I said before it was a tricky cutout is because it's got very fine soft edge details on the fur. And that is typically the kind of thing that's incredibly tricky to cut out accurately. And you certainly can't do it with a pen tool or lasso tool or anything like that. So I'm going to show you what I'll do to tackle this kind of image. So the first step is to create a rough selection of the object and you can do this with any other selection method you just need to make sure it roughly encompasses the outline so I'm actually going to go up here and use the quick selection tool and then I'm just going to click inside the area of the cat and as you can see it's made a very rough but approximate selection of the outline of the cat and that is fine for the first step so once we have that selection live go up and click on this refine edge button in the top toolbar now that will take us to our Refine Edge dialog. Now this can be quite slow, so bear with me. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so we can see more what's going on. So how this tool works is on the left hand side, you can see the main image with a kind of representation of the selection. You can see it's all this kind of rough lighter area. And on the right hand side is the output. So that's what our final cutout is going to look like. And before you do anything, it's obviously going to look as rough as it did on the original image. Now in the top left of this window, we've got white, grey and black buttons here. Now the white and the black just let you brush, add to the mask by like a brush tool. So if I click on the white and I paint up here, it will literally just add that area to the mask as you can see on the right, which is not what we want obviously. So I'm going to just undo that. And what we want to refine this kind of selection is the grey button in the middle. Now this is where the kind of the magic happens because what this will do is any area on the left hand side that you now run the brush over, it will try to intelligently make a better cutout. Let me just show you what I mean. If I just take this brush along the edge of the left hand side and up the ear of the cat and on that fluffy bit on the top of his ear and let go, watch what happens on the right hand image see that how it's taken a lot of that away and to get a better view of this I'm actually going to click on this black button in the top right side to change the background to black because the cat's white if we change it to a temporary black background you can see more of what you're doing now this won't be in your final image it's just a visual aid to help you with this refine mask tool refine edge tool so now what we're going to do is we're going to carry on around the outline of the cat just brushing around on this area don't do too much at once and also don't worry if it doesn't get a perfect edge because it's rarely perfect on the first time around. Try not to also try not to go into the cat too much. So try and keep it as close to the edge as you can, but just digging into the outline of the object just a little bit to make sure that it could calculate all the areas. That's a very light fluffy bit. So I'm going to go over that completely. To come down that, it's always good to just stop and let the right hand side bit refresh so you can see what progress you've made. Don't worry if you're seeing some blue areas in the fur still. As long as the cutout looks good, any colour contamination can be easily dealt with in the next stage. So I'm going to carry on going round the edge of the cat. Don't worry about the whiskers for the moment because we're going to come back and do those in a minute. And I'll do that and let go and just see where we are. I said it takes a minute to update or so, but so I'm just going to go back over this here now. Just see a couple of areas that we can try and improve. Okay, so that looks better. Again, if it's got a slight blue tint to it, don't worry because we can easily change that and correct that when we get back to the normal photo P window. All we're looking for is that the edge looks nice and soft and fluffy without this. So with this tool, so I'm just going to tweak a little bit more there. And bearing in mind, we're not going to be putting this in a black background anyway. So this is a worst case scenario. So if you can get it looking good like this, then, you know, it's going to work on pretty much any background. And now I'm just going to take a slightly smaller brush and I'm just going to start painting it over the whiskers. And also with this tool, because it intelligently updates depending on where you're brushing, you'll sometimes find that Brushing in one area can actually enhance the image in a slightly different area sometimes. So if it's not looking just how you want it straight away, just keep going and tackle all the other areas like I'm going over the whiskers here. 
and um, then we can judge the overall cut out at the end. Now this is a bit laggy and slow and it, it can it can take a while for it to update but it is very much worth it to get the quality of cutout that you can only really get from using this tool. At least without going into some very advanced techniques using channel masks and things like that which is um, not for this tutorial. Okay, so let's have a little look at the um, let's have a look, little look at the cutout now. Now, I'm quite happy with that. I think that's a really great starting point, at least for a cutout. It's picked up all the soft edges of the fur. There's no hard, chunky objects or lines anywhere. So we'll make sure that this says new layer in the top right hand side here. And I'm going to click OK. So now it's put it onto a brand new layer with the cutout pixels. So just quickly, I'm going to throw a color fill, a black color fill behind this, almost a bit like we were working in the previous window, just as a visual guide for the moment, but we'll replace that with a proper background soon. So now what we need to do is just to go around the outside and just fix any little problems, manually fix any little problems that are apparent in the image. So there's quite a lot of blue areas and you can also see there are some around like the top right hand side of the ear. You could see some soft fuzzy bits that the kind of hazy bits that it didn't cut out very well so we'll deal with those easily so i'm going to create a layer mask on that cat and with black as our foreground color and making sure we have a nice soft brush we can just go in now and manually um, manually brush out any of these hazy little speckly bits that were left from the the mask and you normally get this on images that aren't great quality to start with so this was like a compressed JPEG not the best quality image so it does pick out some of the artifacts try not to go into the areas of the cat too much otherwise it will start to look it'll just start to look worse something like this tidy it up don't spend too much time at this stage because depending on the background that you end up putting it on you might not need to do much and to fix the blue color cast we still have remaining, that one's super easy. All we do is create a new layer by clicking on the blank layer icon here. Hold down Alt or Option key on your PC or Mac and click on that layer we've just created. And what that does is it creates a clipped layer. So now you can see it's got this little arrow pointing down to the layer beneath. And that means that whatever you do to this layer will only affect the pixels of the cat underneath. And what this means is we can now change that blank layer to color blending mode. Go back to our brush tool. And now using the Alt or Option key, we can sample. So hold Alt or Option on your PC or Mac and then click an area of the clean white fur to pick that color. And this is when you're in the brush tool, by the way, it's a shortcut. If you hold Alt or Option and it just turns into a temporary eyedropper tool so you can just sample a color and let go. And then I'm going to drop my opacity a bit and I'm just going to brush over these blue areas now. As you can see, the color blending mode with the fur color picked is just allowing us to paint away those blue areas that remain. We're going to do it on the top of his ear as well. See, they're gone. Looking for any more. There's some up on the other ear. So again, I'm just going to pick a, a close by clean color of the fur and just paint over to get rid of those blue bits. And I think on the bottom right of the shot, there's definitely some more going on down here. So again, the same thing, hold Alt or Option, click the fur and just paint over the blue fringing with the color of the fur itself. If I turn that layer on and off, you can see exactly what it's done to the image. It's just really cleaned that up. So now I think we're in a really good position to put our background behind it. Now, while I just, before I drag this background on, the image of the cat and the image of the background that I'm about to put in are both listed as free download in the description below. So please check that out if you want to try this for yourself. So I'm just going to drag. I'll go under the cat image. We can now remove that temporary black background. I'm going to drag in the shot I want to use as our background. So you can just drag it from your desktop or your anywhere on your computer. Just drag it straight into the photo P window and it will import into the current file. So there we've got like a nice garden background, but it's too sharp, it's too in focus, so it doesn't really work with the cat at the moment. We want that to be a nice, soft, blurred background. So to do this, 
we can quite easily go to the filter menu and go blur Gaussian blur and this is where you can blur just the background to your tastes however soft you want it to go I actually want to go quite far with this because I want a nice smooth background well that's a bit much maybe something like that where you can still pick out some of the colors some of the details maybe a bit less this is completely subjective at this point whatever you think looks good click OK and now we just need to have one final check because this may expose some other areas now that we need to quickly deal with so we're just going to jump back into the layer mask from the cat as you can see at the top of its head or hopefully you can see this has now exposed some of those little hazy areas that were left over from the original mask and with black as your foreground color with a soft brush we can now just carefully um, we can now just carefully paint these away and this is why it's it's not worth doing too much of this kind of work after the original refine edge because depending on the background you actually put the object on it may show up more or less of the problems and there's no point spending ages fixing things that you don't actually see in the main image in the final image should I say so I'm just going to go around the whiskers a little bit don't spend too much time on this because it is a soft furry object anyway and I'm just going to go back to this color blending mode layer where we got rid of the blue fringe and just go over a few more areas that I now spot that we didn't hit properly earlier